ALO. You're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick, like Fumance Roofing and IT and IT Security. Today, looking at phishing, specifically the evolution from zip file to ISO to IMG or image file. Um, this is not my story. <laughs> so oftentimes, I just hit the button and, and record and riff on something that I've heard or thought was interesting or had a great conversation with. And this particular video, this particular one that you're listening to right now, is actually a Cofence story. It's Cofence, which is the company that uh, produces the fish bean product. And I was listening to uh, a talk by their CTO recently. And uh, the story he was laying out reminded me of a couple different principles that we talk about in this video series a lot. Namely, and the tip for you is this, watch for how new technologies open vulnerabilities and watch for how vulnerabilities as they get close creates incentives for the attackers to work around and find new flaws. I've called this in the past the Batman and Joker model, right? Without Batman stopping all the crime, there would have been no need for the Joker, the super villain. And the cat and mouse game that we play all the time and intuitively that we know is sometimes hard to map out, to graph out, to point to a specific example. Now, the example that was given by Cofence, I think, is very interesting. As you know, people send you bad files and email and they try to get you to click on it. Who knew? And when you click on it and it runs, it oftentimes does bad stuff to your computer. Sometimes uh, in ways that the criminals profit from, right? That is, that is phishing in a nutshell. And uh, <clears throat> what is fascinating about this is for the longest time, those bad things are being sent in over zip files because a lot of these the anti-spam systems weren't checking the zip file. The technology got better and started blocking those zip files. And there for a moment, there was this brief window in time where it was very difficult to send someone a file that they would click on and execute and allow the criminals to monetize their system. This all changed with Windows 10. Windows 10 comes out and Windows 10 now has the ability to automatically open ISO files. Um, and in doing so, has opened the window for the criminals to send you ISO files. Uh, you probably remember ISO files are the files you download and you'd, you'd burn to a CD and, uh, and away we go. Now, they saw, Cofence saw, uh, in their triage tool, a uptick in people using ISO files about March of last year. April, May, June goes by and more and more criminals are using these. Why? Because it's not getting stopped by any filters. So it ends up going almost a full year. It goes into this year where people are able to send these ISO files again and again and people are clicking on them and obviously it must be making money because they keep doing it. Now, the criminals keep doing it. Now, along comes the filters and they say, wait, we recognize this pattern here, right? And we're going to prevent ISO files. So they put in a control and you can see in the, the chart that uh, the Cofence guys were sharing that uh, ISO spam dies off, right? Because people now are immune to this type of attack. So it's not like the fishers pack up and go home. They switch to image files, IMGs, which are the old floppy images, which are just like ISO. It's almost the exact same format, different extension. Uh, and also conveniently enough, now automatically open in Windows 10. So you see a curve like that for zip files until most people are running the control. Then you see a curve like that for ISO files until most people are running a control. Then you see a curve like that right now with the uptick for image files until someone's going to put in place a check, a control for these sort of things. These are the exact type of trends that... Uh, oftentimes will influence and drive security behaviors. And it's the exact type of thing that you, we want to be looking for as, as security leaders. Uh, what new attacks are the new technology going to allow? And what new attacks are we going to force the criminal into by putting in place our controls? Remember, every single control doesn't stop the bad guys, it redirects the bad guys. Therein is the most important lesson, I believe, of looking at phishing as it shift from zip to ISO, now to EMG. 
What do you think? Hit me up in comments and social media. Let me know. Have you seen this type of uh, spam? What are the ways that your organization is handling it? I'd love to hear. Cheers.